everyone, Tim Streifler here with Divi Life again. And in this tutorial for Divi Overlays, I'm gonna show you how to set up a scroll delay trigger, or I should say scroll delay automatic trigger for Divi Overlays. So essentially what that means is you can trigger an overlay based on how much of the page the user has scrolled. And you can specify in either pixels or percentage. And so uh, it's actually really easy to do. And um, just to note, I'm going to be going through the tutorial here, the, the PDF version. So if you want to follow along or you would rather read than watch the video and listen, then you can go ahead and navigate to here uh, on the product documentation section for, for Divi overlays. And so uh, the first thing you're, you're going to want to do is navigate to the overlay edit screen for the Divi overlay that you want to trigger with a scroll delay. And so uh, I'm on the overlay edit screen. I'm gonna scroll down to where I see the box for automatic triggers. And I can click here and I can see the, the, the three different automatic triggers that we currently have for Divi overlays. And so I'm gonna select scroll percentage. And that's gonna drop down a couple boxes that I can specify in either pixels or percentage. I'm gonna go ahead and type in 1000 pixels. And uh, in the from box, and in, in the to box I'm gonna leave blank. And in most cases, uh, in terms of you know the, the way that people typically use um, automatic triggers uh, for, for overlays and pop-ups and, and so forth, most cases you're just gonna wanna leave that blank because what that's gonna do if you specify, it's going to automatically close the overlay when you've reached that new point. So if it's 1000 pixels, then you'll leave that um, then it'll open and then say you've specified the two field at 1500. So when you scroll 500 more pixels, then it'll automatically close. Um, and so it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense in most cases. It's, it'd have to be a very specific use case uh, for you to, to need to use that, I imagine. Um, and just a, a note though, in order for that this the, the two field to work, you need to make sure that you don't enable the prevent main page scrolling because if you're not able to scroll the background, then um, you're not able to have it get to another point on the, the page for the overlay to close. So again, most cases, just leave it blank. So I'm gonna specify 1000 pixels. We have uh, a couple other options here. Uh, disable on mobile, um, that's automatically checked. And the reason for that is Google announced earlier uh, this year that they're gonna start penalizing websites that have disruptive pop-ups on mobile devices. So it doesn't apply to desktop, only on mobile. Uh, so just to you know completely be safe from that and not have to worry about getting any penalty from Google, um, then you just keep that enabled, um, or I'm sorry, keep that, yeah, keep that checked so it'll disable on mobile. And then display once per page load, um, I recommend keeping that closed, so, um, or I'm sorry, keeping that enabled so that when the user closes the overlay and say they scroll back up the page, back down again, uh, back to 1000 pixels in this example, you don't want that to keep going off, that's just annoying. If they've closed it, you wanna just keep it that way. Um, and then the next option is to specify what pages you want it on. So all pages, it's gonna make it automatically trigger on every single page on the website, uh, or I should say every page, every post, uh, et cetera. Um, and so in most cases, you're probably gonna wanna specify some pages, unless it's a kind of a, a site-wide type thing. Um, and so to do that, just select only specific pages, and then you can either select from the list, I this is just a, a demo website, so all, all I have are three posts, or three pages, whatever you wanna call them. Um, so in most cases, you're gonna have a, a larger website, so you can just start typing, and then it'll automatically complete, and you can start typing again, automatically complete, you can add it, take away. So I'm just gonna put it on the garage layout that we're using for these demos. And then I'm gonna go ahead and update the page, or I should say update the overlay, Go back to my front end here, and I'm going to refresh this. You're going to see when I, as I scroll down, I reached 1,000 pixels, and the overlay automatically triggered. So pretty straightforward, very simple. I'm going to close this. You can see I'm going to scroll up and down again, and it's not triggering because I have that option enabled so that it only displays once per page load. And so in most cases, you're going to want to keep that there so you don't annoy your user. And so uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, if you have any questions, though, feel free to contact us, open a support ticket, 
Um, you can get to our support page from the footer of divylife.com as well as the header under Divi Store. Get support, open up a support ticket, and we'll be happy to, to help you out. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thanks for, for tuning in, and we will see you on the next tutorial.